continue for. Um, the Threatened Species Commissioner, which Senator Rustin started to ask about as well. Um, so you've said that it's a non-statutory appointment. It will somehow be complementary, but not duplicative of the existing Threatened Species Scientific Committee. Um, can you outline to me what, what funding that that position has associated with it? Uh, yeah, Senator, um, the, um, the, the Threatened Species uh, Commissioner funding arrangements uh, for um, the Commissioner um, are being uh, resolved as part of the, the department's um, budget processes and business planning um, over the, the next um, month or so. Okay, so there was no additional funds committed. The department's just got to find the money somehow within its departmental allocation. It is a, uh, an, an activity that um, we will support as part of our core business around threatened species, Senator. If it's a non-statutory role and we've already got a threatened species scientific committee, what's this person going to do? Um, Senator, I, I, uh, I uh, outlined uh, earlier um, the, the, the terms of reference or part of the mm. terms of reference for the Commissioner. I'd be happy to uh, elaborate on, on that mm. uh, more if, if that would be um, helpful. Well, I did jot down what you said before and one of the points you mentioned was that there would be wider engagement with the, with the conservation sector. Um, yesterday we discovered that the, um, or rather we discussed that the GBESHO funds, which have previously facilitated consultation with the community and conservation sector, has been cut. So how will the appointment of a non-statutory person with no additional funds, who's meant to lead consultation with the community and so conservation groups work if Senator, you then cut their funding as well? well, well, well Senator, Sen Sen Senator uh, it's not for government to fund other people to talk to government. Uh, other, other entities uh, uh, can be free to, uh, to talk to government, uh, whether it is through the Threatened Species Commissioner, parliamentary inquiries or any other process government runs. But, mm. uh, uh, but it's, not, uh, it's not for government to be uh, funding um, third party organisations to make representations to government. So community consultation is not community something that Community consultation is vital, Senator, absolutely vital, but, uh, uh, but uh, community consultation involves people in the community uh, putting their views forward. And if they've previously been resourced to do that as a, as a peak body, for example, the Queensland Conservation Council, and, and now that funding's been removed, and yet you're still expecting them to well, be able to well, fulfil those you, obligations. You may have a philosophical view that the government should fund a whole range of different third party commentators around the community. Uh, I think the government should Yes, I should do believe in community uh, consultation. Indeed, uh, the government differs. Right, OK, well, we're going to be in for a well, hell of a few National years. Farmers Federation as well. Well, a might, very valid point, Senator Williams. Yeah. I mean, yesterday I actually... Oh, they're OK. I, I heard, we can fund them, I, I, can I, I we? Heard, just I, not I, conservation. I, I heard your questioning I'm yesterday, being sarcastic, Senator Cormann, Senator Waters. Waters, and you used the uh, review of the Water Act uh, mm. as an example. Mm. Uh, and you seem to suggest that the uh, uh, Queensland Conservation Council should be funded to make submissions to the review of the Water Act, yet yeah. presumably the National Irrigators Council should not. Yeah. I'm just simply pointing out that on the They're same day as they had their funding cut, I've they were asked to consult. I've invited both of them to make submissions to the Water Act review. And on the same day as their funding was cut, they were asked to consult on an important piece of legislation. I think it just highlights the lack of and I want um, their emphasis views. and importance that the government I want puts their views, on but like any other stakeholder, they can fund themselves. Well, I think we can probably leave it there, Minister, with that very clear statement of the government's priorities. Thank you, Chair.